Hi guys, we're over M24.com and today we're going to assemble the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. First of all, we have to take out the car tray. For this, we use a special tool and we take out the combined SIM cards and memory card tray. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover up to 65-70 Celsius degree or 158 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat. And as you can see, the temperature increases slowly to the desired for us. After 5 or 7 minutes, we can move on to the assembly. Unfortunately, this smartphone came to us in a pretty bad condition. The display was replaced and almost everything was glued off. So, your disassembly experience will probably be different. We use a plastic film and put it in the hole between the back cover and the display frame and gently move the film along the back cover to open it. So, we carefully detach the back cover. As we can see on the back cover, we have a microphone, flashlight elements and gasket. After that, Using a Philips 1.5mm screwdriver or hash 3 o we need to unscrew the screws to detach the top part with an NFC, the middle part with a wireless charger and the bottom part with a speaker assembly. And we unscrew all screws we need. Move on to unscrewing the screws on the bottom. We see the antenna transmission lines on the covers. The screws, by the way, can get stuck in the cover. It is not always easy to get them out. And we move on to detach this assembly. We pick up by the edges and we also need to disconnect the wireless charging connector. And we can detach everything, pick it up and pull it aside. By the way, we can see the assembly with a speaker on the end. Now we need to disconnect the battery connector with a non-metallic tool. And we can disconnect the connectors to the display, to the charging port and to the interboard cable. The outermost cable we can remove to the side. After that, we use a Philips 1.5mm screwdriver to unscrew two screws, securing the charging port. And we can unscrew one screw that holds the subboard in place. After that, we pry the subboard by the edge and lift it up. We have a microphone on the subboard. And we can peel off the cable and take out the charging port. So we peel it off, pry it up and pull it out. That is the charging port cable. And we can move on to detaching the cover and the bottom. Don't forget to disconnect the connector that goes to the speaker and the flashlight. That is the speaker. We need to unscrew some more screws that hold the rear camera assembly. The same 
Philips 1.5 mm screwdriver. We can disconnect the connector on the S Pen. And we can take out the front camera. Usually this camera is extremely well glued with the epoxy resin. And it is quite difficult to unglue without damaging it. We disconnect the touchscreen connector. And we hook it by the edge and take out the motherboard. Next, we turn the motherboard over and disconnect the connectors on the inside and we need to detach the rear camera's assembly. They are intricately connected. Take your time to find a way to separate them, see what is holding on and so on. As we can see, we have two rear cameras and one camera separator. Moving on to detaching the battery. Unfortunately, the battery was already removed before us and when we tried to pick it up with a plastic film, it just fell off. In your case, detaching the battery will be much more difficult and so it's better to watch one of our videos on how to remove the battery on a Samsung. And as you can see, the display frame has old glue, but the battery has no glue at all. Well, this is the end of this assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and see you next video.